Hello everybody and welcome to another Match Attacks 2010-2011 opening. Today we're opening the tin from back in the day, so it's very, very exciting. Inside every tin you get 60 cards, including a limited edition card, plus some rules as well, and an iCode. I don't know what that is, we'll have to find out in a minute. If you're excited to get inside this tin opening from the 2010-2011 collection, because I know you absolutely love this collection, for whatever reason, make sure to smash the like button. you only got 5 seconds! It's so easy to just click a button. And it helps me out massively. So, have you hit the like button yet? Brilliant! Well, let's get into the darn video. So, before we get any further into this video, I'd just like to thank the legends at One Football for sponsoring this video. There is a link in the description where you can download the app for completely free and keep up to date with all the latest football scores from around the world, including the Premier League. What's more is that it gives in depth player statistics as well as transfer news to help keep you up to date with what is going on and who's performed particularly well in the world of football today. What's not to love? So, stay in the loop of the footballing world by downloading the One Football app today. The link in the description will take you directly to whichever app store your device uses. Easy as that. Thank you very much. Let's get on with the video. As you can see, here is the tin. And while we're opening this tin, we'll see if we need any other cards to add to our final win. Let me tell you now, we don't need too many. So we're mainly looking out for the special cards inside this tin, which I bought on eBay for £10. Uh, the seller clearly bought it in a nice little end of season sale there for £3. So well done to him or her for uh, picking it up at that price and selling it on for £10. Fair play. Uh, but yeah, this, everyone asks in the comment section, where do I find these retro products? And I get them from eBay. Um, there's other places you can buy them from, Facebook Marketplace, Depop even um, have some old match tax listings. Uh, but you just got to get lucky really because there's not really many listings of these old products on the internet. Um, but yeah, anyway, this tin on the front has SEN Shamak. I think that's Ashley Young under there, going by the fact he's on there as well. And Darren Bent, as you can see, there is the uh, the contents of the tin. A proper retro match attacks tin here. These, as we know of them today, would be a mega tin. Uh, but back in the day, this was a uh, normal sized tin. Uh, retailing at £10. On the bottom, it just has a load of information about tops and there's a load of writing in... Um, that language, I, d I don't know what that language is, <laughs> Yeah, if, if anyone knows, let me know. It's got all the teams on the side there, now even close to the action. Very, very nice. It's just a really nice tin. I love these retro tins. So, here we go. So, obviously, the packs I've been opening from this collection have been from the Mega Tin from this collection. Now, the Mega Tin from this collection was humongous. It's the size of a booster box, but it's in tin format. So, yeah, it's pretty huge, and it had 100 packs in it. Imagine if a Mega Tin these days had 100 packs in it. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? Instead, we just get those stupid see-through packs of cards, which are just not worth your money at all. This is why tins should have individual packets of cards these days, because that, well, the Turbo Attacks did that this year, didn't they? So that's what Panini do as well. It works so much better. But I believe inside this tin, it will have the see-through pack of cards uh, like we know of today uh, with Topps' tins. So if I can actually get inside this, because this has been sealed for over 10 years. Blimey. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We've got inside it, and you get a pretty hefty the amount of cards there. Look at that. You get the limited edition, which is guaranteed to be Andre Arshavin limited edition, uh, which is nice. Nice of tops to uh, not do the gold, silver, bronze malarkey in these tins. And uh, there we go, Arshavin limited edition. Very nice. 85 attack, 25 defence. There we go. I need that one, actually. I don't think I ever picked up this tin um, when I was collecting it 10 years ago, but um, I've got it now, and this is a good spot uh, to store my swaps in uh, from this collection, because obviously, as I keep saying, I'm trying to complete this set. Who knows if it's going to happen? Hopefully it does. Uh, we'll have to find out. Um, obviously doing some swaps with people on eBay regularly, so thank you to everyone who's watching this who has swapped with me in the recent few weeks. Uh, but there's the Austrian Limited Edition and all its uh, glory there. Um, just a beautiful card, isn't it? Look at that. Ellie number one, as it says in the top right. Um, Andre Arshavin, wow. What a, what a legend he is of the game. Let's see if these cards smell nice, because obviously they're 10 years old, so they might have worn off a bit in terms of smell, but... They're all stuck together, I'll tell you that much. Ugh. No, 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 no. That's not a match attack smell. I don't know what smell that is, but I don't like it. There's the match attack's live code. Um, yeah, that's irrelevant because that website definitely isn't available these days. Um, anyway, so we start off with a Glenn Johnson Man of the Match card. I believe we've already got that one. Don't know how many Man of the Match you're going to get. Hopefully, a quite 
quite a few. I've got Barry Ferguson, man of the match there. Uh, so I know both of them are swaps, which is annoying. Um, Shamak, star signing. Uh, yeah, I've got him as well. Uh, so let's put that to one side. Oh, this is grim. Wayne Rooney, star player. Oh, there's one behind here as well. A West Ham midfielder. Who's that? Um, oh, Thomas Hitzelsberg. You can see the, the printing of the match attacks card from in front. That That is disgusting. Yeah, these cards are not in the best condition. Um, stay clear of the tins is my recommendation if you're buying retro cards. Uh, we've got Rory Delap there, obviously Wayne Rooney star player. Um, Steven Ireland star signing. I don't know if there's any others in here. Let's have a look. So we've got Stoke. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Um, that's rather disappointing though, isn't it? The uh, It's unfortunate that the star players and star signings always stick together, especially due to their age. So uh, those are the ones we got. we only got two Man of the Matches. Now, if I was paying £10 for this back in the day, I'd be very disappointed with two Man of the Matches. So hopefully there's more in here. If not, then um, yeah, there will be some tears. But <laughs> no, there won't. Right. So we start off with Nicholas and Nelka there. We've got uh, Czech, Davies, um, Sovereign. These are all stuck together. This is disgusting. Mika Richards, Mancini there. You, you guys have been asking for some ASMR content, so... Um, does that count? Yeah, so there are the base cards we've got so far. The, the rest are pretty much all stuck together. There's Mancini. Let's turn this around. Uh, Sandro went on to play for QPR. Mick, uh, Mitchell. Greening. Cathcart. Uh, Craig Gardner. Pepe Reina. Carlton Cole. We've then got Marcus Alonso, a young Marcus Alonso there. Uh, Klasnich, um, Young, Hoylet. We've got Titus Bramble for Sunderland. Elmanda, Yakubu, Kovac, Bruce, uh, when he was managing Sunderland, wow. And then we've got another wad of cards, and these are literally all stuck together like glue. All the rules, nice, that's epic. That's a good little merchandise piece, that. I'll take that, that'll go nicely at the back of my binder. I think so far we're only putting in one card and it's the Arshavin. <laughs> so I spent £10 for an Arshavin limited edition. Great. Cheers eBay. Yeah, the, oh God. So Alex Ferguson there. We've got Ryan Giggs. And there's some other ones stuck with him. Uh, Mensa. And then we've got Joe Hart in there. Wow, nice. Uh, young Joe Hart there. Uh, Samir Nasri. Ricketts. Stephen Kelly. Daniel Sturridge there in his Chelsea kit. Uh, Omerod. Is that stuck to another card? No, it's not. We've got uh, James Morrison. Uh, De Jong. Pantsil. We've then got uh, Kolarov. Routledge. Uh, then we've got Ibanez. Uh, Andrews. Gabadon. Ebanks Blake. Rodwell. Delap. Evat. Uh, Whitehead. Ian Holloway. There he is. Mark Noble. Uh, Jerome Thomas, Billy Edinov, that's a long, long old name, I remember him back in the day. Ashley Cole there, Glenn Johnson obviously got his man of the match in this tin as well. Logan Crand, Jara, that is stuck to another one. It is Jordi Gomez, Miller, Phil Jones, a very young Phil Jones there for Blackburn. All Brighton, Tomkins, Steve Harper, Sanya and Ebanks Blake. I spent £10 on all of those base cards and I didn't even need any of them. <laughs> that is sad. That is sad, but... I mean, that does kind of show some progress. The Mega Tins, or the Tins in general, have taken it in terms of match attacks. Back in the day, you're paying £10 for a tin with two Man of the Match cards. Um, what's that? Five Shinies in total, plus the two Man of the Matches. So, seven Shinies, plus a limited edition. Yeah, that's not worth £10. That Nowadays, that's, that's what you find in a mini tin. Um, so yeah, that is poor indeed. Obviously got more base cards up there. So pretty much the whole of the tins <laughs> consisted of just base cards, which is really, really sad. So I'm glad we're seeing some progress from tops in that department. Uh, but yeah, I don't need any of these actually, which is sad. I only need shinies to complete the base set, I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. Uh, but I definitely don't need these two Man of the Magic, so I know we've completed Liverpool and Birmingham. I remember packing that Barry Ferguson in a previous opening on the channel. If you haven't really seen it, uh, tune into the channel, um, watch some old content, and subscribe while you're down there so you don't miss the future videos we upload. So, if we go right to the back of my binder... Find where I put my limited editions in. There's the Glenn Johnson, of course, and to clarify, there's Barry Ferguson as well. Never mind, <laughs> we move. 
Let's find, so the only hydrocarbons we need are Cess Fabregas and Petta Check. We've got all the managers now because I'll pack Arsene Wenger in a TikTok, which is fantastic. And we've got space for one more limited edition. And uh, I'm going to put Arshavin probably in the first slot because he's LE1. Um, Drogba's LE2 because he was found in the starter pack. Defoe was in the collector guide. And Arshavin in the tin. For some reason, the tin was LE number one. But there we go. We've now got a full page, a full binder of cards now. It fits in very nicely. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the tournament rules though, which is sad, but um, never mind. Probably just tuck it in the back there. Um, like we put where we put the oversized cards for these uh, match tax seasons these days. But um, there we go. So Arshavin was the main reason we bought that, Tim, just to fill out the limited editions, um, you know, so not bad. But yeah, as you can see, we still need quite a few Man of the Match cards. We need a couple of showboats as well. We already had Hitzelsburg, which is annoying. Um, yeah, not a great haul, so to speak, from that tin, um, which is disappointing. We need the Scott, Pl uh, Scott Parker star player from West Ham. Not sure who else we need, to be honest. But if you want to see a full... Bar oh, yeah, we need David Silva star player as well. But, yeah, if you want to see a full um, binder update or, you know, showcase from this collection, do let me know. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to swap the cards I need with other collectors. I need the Paul Robinson star player as well. And I believe it was a Fulham, yeah, Moussa Dembele star signing. But, yeah, hope you did enjoy that video. If you want to see some more retro match attacks pack enemies on the channel, make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already. Uh, hit the subscribe button as well and hit the notification bell. Reason being, if you don't hit the notification bell, you won't get notified to your mobile, tablet and computer device when I upload a new video. And you don't want that. You don't want to miss out. Because these videos are coming thick and fast at the moment. I'm working hard to bring you out some good content. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.